They used to make amazing cars, man. They don't make them like they used to. garage thanks so much for watching and tuning in as you can see i'm wearing a bmw shirt bmw e39 m5 well um, as you a lot of you guys know me um i love old school cars especially old school, old school german cars i save and restore a lot of those cars it's a bunch of uh, you can see a bunch of mercedes on my channel and all that stuff but the thing is um you need to understand that uh if you are into old school cars you have to uh respect and appreciate all of them that's the case with me I love old school BMWs, I love old school Mercedes, old school Volkswagens, anything that's old school, even old school Volvos. Dylan, if you're watching, Swedish machines, I love them. But um, this video, it took me a while to make this video. Uh, I just couldn't get to it, it was kind of crazy, but I want to talk about this video. Um, this video is actually, uh, the, the clips that you're about to see are from about July and August of 2023, and yeah uh if you haven't uh, seen my channel before make sure to subscribe and check out my playlist and videos we save and restore a lot of old school machines and uh i hope you guys are doing the same thing cross bro damn you're damn. swag bro Shit. damn bro <laughs> you lost it all right so here's the crazy story um you guys know Leo, uh, I'm sure you've seen the videos on my channel. Uh, I've made a bunch of videos with Leo on my channel. Leo is a big BMW guy, especially BMW E34 5 Series uh, guy. He has quite a few of them. And his main daily driver is the 1994 uh, BMW 525i. Super amazing machine, um, super awesome. He's done so much work to that car. He did tons and tons of work and the restoration preservation of that car. And it's his daily driver. So, uh, back in July, uh, me and Leo came, if you haven't watched that video of us coming all the way from Kansas City to Chicago, here's a link right here, make sure to check it out. But we drove that car eight hours uh, without any issues, any hiccups, it's an amazing car, it's great. But we just came there because we were visiting, I was visiting my mom and my other friends and all that, so we just decided to, and we haven't seen each other, me and Leo, we haven't seen each other for a while. So we just decided to take a trip to Chicago. Once we got there, we had a lot of fun. We did a lot of things together and all that. Um, and, you know, everything was great um, until about two days before Leo had to go back to Kansas City. So I'm gonna tell you one thing is that Leo is probably the only driver and the only person I would trust driving you know crazy and all that on you know the streets or fast whatever because he's actually really amazing he's like he's proved that to me and uh, i love leo i love his passion he's amazing um anything he does with his bmws he drives them hard he um takes care of them he loves them he fixes them does lots and lots of things to you know his bmws and all that and he also loves Mercedes, you know, he hasn't really owned a Mercedes before, but he appreciates, we are like family, you know, like I love Beamers, he loves Mercedes, you know, I do more with Mercedes, he does more with BMWs, but in the future, I'm just, you know, trying to get my own big place so I can, you know, have lots of room, lots of space for a lot of cars, especially BMWs too, I wanna get more uh, cars uh, restored when we're talking about BMWs. So I want to restore more, you know, other cars like Volkswagens too. I really love them, but I've been really focused on Mercedes, you know, just I see the Benz, I gotta save it, you know, so it's kind of how it is. But I just need to buy a big property so I can, you know, uh, keep saving these amazing machines. But, anyways, so 
uh, two days before Leo has to, I hope this video won't get too long. I don't know, I'm sorry, but I need to, you know, talk about this uh, event that happened. Uh, so Leo, uh, we were just casually driving. Everything was good. Leo was not speeding, nothing. We were in Lincolnwood, Illinois, okay, when this crazy situation happened. We were just driving to the North Side Imports. If you guys know from, if you guys are from Chicagoland, you should know what North Side Imports is. It's actually a place where you get a bunch of like, you can literally, it's a warehouse with a bunch of like European car parts, literally. Uh, so we went there and we had to grab uh, parts, I think for one of our friends, I can't remember. So we were on our way there. We were like probably like five minutes away from that warehouse. And then Leo turned uh, left to the neighborhood. And then uh, some crazy stuff happened. Uh, we, he was just driving casually. He was probably driving like maybe 30 miles an hour or something like that, you know? And we were just like relaxed and everything. And there's this intersection in this neighborhood, North Shore and Knox Avenue. It's crazy. They have absolutely no stop signs, nothing. No stop signs on any four of the corners that the street has, the intersection has. It's pretty nuts. I don't know who does that. This is stupidity. This is craziness, you know? They need to have stop signs at least two way stop signs, but they did not have that. So we were just driving and I wasn't paying really attention, but then all of a sudden like out of the bush, there's this big dump truck with a trailer just starts coming out from the, and I think Leo was like, like also not super, super focused. Cause he was just, and then I saw in the corner of my eye, this red pick, I was like, and then I was like sitting on it as a passenger. I was like, oh my God. I, I thought that Leo maybe was seeing it. I don't know, but apparently he was not seeing that truck and then I really wanted to pull the e-brake and I don't know why I didn't do that. I don't know. And then it was just too late. It was, it was crazy. Um, the dump truck just came out of nowhere and then Leo was trying to avoid that and swerved and hit the dump truck. It's crazy. How was I going 80 miles an hour? I was going you know 80 miles an hour is? Come on, it's dude. right here. I'm lost. This is my, this is my baby. That's replaceable. I know that. Like, so you gotta understand that. It's almost a new truck. This is old ass BMW. Old ass This is BMW. old school BMW, not just old ass whatever old you're ass saying. BMW. We it's love old, old school ass, cars. And you're old ass mother You're not respecting like, our, our no. cars. So you don't, you're not respecting my truck. You nailed the T-bone the shit out of me. You fucking blew through the shit just did, as I did. I don't you need did, your fucking attitude right now. Did, like, I'm, not a, I'm not happy with it. You're not happy with it. Yeah, you don't right. need to keep pushing on it. So let's just fucking figure this shit out and move on. Jobs are fine. And then there's this old dude who comes out and starts, you know, saying how upset he is, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, but what I'm really upset about is that if you're a construction worker or like if you're the, you know, the main guy of the city or whatever president, what the heck, dude? If you have a inter an intersection and there's like no traffic lights, nothing, you need to have at least two stop signs there. There was absolutely no stop signs on any of the four corners. This is bizarre. If you look up this, just look it up on a map, a Google map, literally. Like it's intersection of Knox and North, Nor Northridge, North Shore Avenue, whatever, in Lincolnwood, Illinois. It's pretty bizarre. They have nothing. We were so pissed off after this happened. Oh, by the way, after the accident, I mean, the car was pretty squished, right? But after the accident, I felt I, I didn't get anything. No scratches, nothing. Like that car is just so amazing. We were just super, super upset, especially Leo, I feel really, I felt really, really bad for him and everything. But I told him, don't worry, bro. We'll get this car fixed up. We'll bring it back to life. Here's the deal. If you are one of those who's gonna say, oh yeah, why are you doing this car? It's not gonna be reliable right now. It's not safe. Well, maybe you should just not watch this video anymore because we love and we save these amazing machines and that car means a lot to us. And even if it was a different car, 
it's still, it means a lot to us. We don't just give up. You know, I noticed that in the US, people are just a little tender, but oh my God, totaled, just totaled, you know? Not the case with us. I grew up in Europe and I look at things differently. Same with Leo and yeah. Um, so literally the next day, the next couple days, Leo got this amazing, actually problematic BMW E39, the white one, you've probably seen the video, but he literally, he bought that car before that car. That's this E39 right here, not, not the M, but the 520, it's a 525i automatic white that he bought and uh, he actually saved it from the junker because the lady wanted to scrap it. But, we bought it and he immediately like replaced the alternator because it was bad and I helped him out with that and there was some other issues. But anyways, Leo bought that car and he was driving that car. We were driving it uh, in, in, after the couple, first couple of days, we fixed it up and we were driving it already. And then we went, started uh, uh, looking up parts and all that stuff for that car, for the E34. 117. 77763 Frames of course are stable though. They make it, they have everything like that. No, I need to get another one of you probably. Yeah. Some guys. Is it in? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It didn't go all the way. Put it all the way. All the way. Put the rock right? Okay. This one's gonna be harder. No. Oh, yeah, this one's a lot harder. We're bending. We're bending. Rod. Yeah, That's how you have to do it. Do it. One, two, three. No, no, no going. So it's the shop. You will see this the sprinter. You will see the sprinter over there. I'm going there right now. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, my bad, my bad, Where? my bad, right here. Uh, after the crash, um, we uh, we towed the car to my friend's place. That's where we started taking the car apart and doing everything. And what's crazy and amazing is that the car still would start up and drive just fine, even with the damage that it had. It's crazy. So yeah, um, yeah, we towed it to our friend's place, started taking everything apart, and. Uh, just uh, the next day after um, we started uh, gathering all the parts. So we went to that same place, Northside Imports, to get a bunch of stuff, a uh, bunch of new parts because uh, well, Leo got a new water pump and their stuff too, um, just to do everything. There was that housing, I think. Nice. Oh, plastic one. Oh, this is the this is the neck. This is the water neck. Oh, the water neck. And crowd water pump and everything. Water pump. Mother in Germany. Washer Pumpe. Hepu. Hepu's okay. That's what's on yeah. my 532. Nice. Oh. Oh Nice. Made in Germany. How oh, amazing. Oh, what the f is that? Where? Look at all this shit. Corrosion? I don't know. And then we went, Vignesh, if you're watching this, our good friend Vignesh, he, um, he has a bunch of like E34 parts and everything. So he went, uh, we went to his place to grab a bunch of stuff like core support, uh, we, uh, whatever else he had. We cut out the quarter panel, not the quarter panel, but the inner uh, panel of the, the uh, under the hood uh, to get that replaced and weld it in. 
Um, yeah, and then uh, later in the evening, uh, I borrowed my friend's Sprinter van and we went to grab a bunch of more parts. We went to grab fenders, we went to grab the hood and whatever other parts, the bumper too. So we got a bunch of parts for that car um, to get it all fixed up and back on the road. We came to grab parts, but not from this car, but from this car. But look at this wagon, that's cool. It's amazing. 525i. Wow. It is hot. All right, so now we came here to take some parts off of this car. Uh, and I'm gonna take the whole like core support and everything, all the, like a bunch of like stuff to use in uh, his machine. So yeah, it's just really hot today, but this, uh, this car has a bunch of good parts and I really like when people save parts, you know, off of these cars, it's, it's really, it's really good. It makes me happy, you know, gotta save all the stuff everything the well we gotta disconnect these i think on this side Shit. Shit. yep you mean you're talking about these Big yeah deal. i got them right there okay. that's cool Ooh. Yeah, I have a feeling it will be. Yeah. Yep. Got it? I think the supper room is just a little rusted in. You just gotta kind of. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe you want screws more. Maybe. Maybe. Check it. Doesn't look like it. Well. You take out screws or no? Yeah. All screws are out. No, no, have a tie bar? Tie bar. <laughs> <laughs> Good man, this stuff frame's like here now, almost there. Yeah. I got a bunch of stuff off of this car, and we're about to head back. And yeah, we got the soft frame, we got literally everything we got. That, 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 it's pretty insane. We got a lot of stuff off of this car. Never too many parts for these amazing old school machines. So then once we got all the parts, uh, and we just literally, we put all the parts inside the car and then some of the parts we just had to deliver to the shop, you know, on the, uh, using a sprinter. Um, and then the hood, the hood we actually like strapped onto the car. And then we were, uh, we found a good friend of ours who has a body shop. Uh, he's a Polish guy, really nice. And he helped us out tremendously. Uh, he works at the body shop, so we brought the car to him. And yeah, you're about to see his video, but uh, we brought the car to him on a tow truck and then Lots of Beamer keys. <laughs> ah, she's a little dead. It's okay. I gotta jump it. I'm gonna end up pushing it because there's a bunch of parts inside and can't get to the battery, so it's okay. Watch the manhole right there. Yeah. 
All right, that should be good here, Leo. They used to make amazing cars, man. They don't make them like they used to. Perfect. Nice. Sounds like a body shop, bro. Yeah. Nice. A lot of people working here. Awesome. Looking good. She's gonna be resurrected soon. Hell yeah. Get that badge yeah. in there. Got the badge. Shout out to these guys. Literally within a week, he got it all straightened up and everything. Well, the new piece, whatever he did and uh, straightened the car. And then during that time when the car was getting fixed up, Leo had to go back to Kansas City, which was eight hours away. And then once the car was fixed up, Leo came back with his pickup truck and the, the dolly, the tow dolly, or the trailer, can't remember. And he picked up the car and then he put the rest of the stuff back together on the car, fenders, whatever else, or whatever else needed, like lights, I think that's what it was, whatever else, he just put everything back together. And then he took the car back to Kansas City. After he got the car to Kansas City, he finished uh, basically the restoration of that car, fixed everything up back together. Right now, the car is just amazing. He's still enjoying the car. He loves it so much. And the moral of the story, never give up on these amazing old school cars. Um, anything is possible in life. Nothing is impossible. It's just all in your mindset. Uh, we are so happy. I'm so happy. Leo's so happy that the car is back to life. Uh, I love that car so much. And even I, when I was in Kansas City, I helped him out with a bunch of stuff on that car too. That car is a champ. It's a champ. Um, it's a big story about that car. And yeah, uh, don't forget to save, love, and you know, keep restoring your amazing old school machines because they don't make them like they used to. And I'm about to include some pictures and video clips of you know the process of the restoration and also what the car looks like right now. By the way, I don't care uh, what you say in the comments um, as far as, oh, it's probably not worth it, blah, blah, blah. Why? It's a parts car. No. You heard me right. No. I don't want to hear that. The car is getting back to life. It's going to be back on the road. It already is back on the road. So I'm filming this video a while, like a long, long time after this happened. Yeah, I don't need your negativity. I don't need your negative comments. I don't need any of that. Um, I don't care what you say. Because me, Leo, we are on the same page are amazing my other uh, subscribers my other friends and great enthusiasts will think the same way um yeah so 
save and love amazing old school cars old school beamers old school benzes old school volkswagen old school porsches everything that's old school old school american cars save all of them because electric cars and everything else i hate them so much yes i said that right all right we're gonna give you a little update on this 525 i've had this car for a long time for going on like five years or so four or five years i don't even know i'm not keeping track that closely but i do drive it a lot still still getting worked on um this car was hit about a year ago really really hard right and another section had to be welded on there and a lot of it was done really really quickly so you know it's not like you got you know ten thousand dollars worth of work by some professional shop just kind of got pulled straightened strut tower was unbent and came out pretty good especially if I about the car guys or how great the car drives uh yeah i'm working on that right now all the wires except the fog lights seem to be fine and working but we're figuring that out today don't worry don't be alarmed that, look, that looks like horrible it's spaghetti anyways so car's really good you can see a lot of new parts um Pretty clean. I'm just trying to need a solder something right here. That's why that's out. You know, we're chasing electronic issues. That's why well. that was out. But we've got it figured out. Um, it's a really bad connector, which I'll show you in a moment. Let's see right there, the disgusting corner light connector. That's what uh, caused me to figure out is. You know, fuse number five being blown constantly. Uh, I'm gonna put that back on there because I gotta bolt that down. It's still in progress. The only reason it's not driving is because of that clutch right now. Um, I'm ordering a new elbow for the master cylinder. That's what's gonna happen. All right, guys. So this is the update. This is 2024, September. Uh, and this is a 1994 BMW 525i. This is a legendary machine that Leo has, ha has had for so many years. And you may not be able to tell in the camera, but um, you know, the front end is completely black and the rest of the car is green. That's because we had a crazy situation that happened uh, about a year ago. I think it was July, 2023. Yeah, so uh, it, was, it was crazy. The car got in an accident, but right now, Everything is amazing. The car still drives amazingly. Uh, we restored this car. Yeah, eventually it's gonna need a, a full paint job, but the car is in amazing uh, shape. Otherwise it drives great, runs great, and everything. Just needs some love on the interior, but that's understandable. Uh, we were just working on uh, some things here inside. Uh, I'm about to show you under the hood, uh, but I'm super happy that this car is uh, back to life. And actually <clears throat> this car got fixed really, really quick. I mean, like we uh, back in, I think September 2023, uh, this car was already back on the road. It's just I wasn't able to give you any updates because Leo was busy and he couldn't send me any videos at that time. But uh, yeah, this, this car is all amazing otherwise. I'm going to pop the hood. So here's how the engine bay looks everything is still complete still intact pretty much the only thing is that like i said it had to be that had to be fixed up is the frame has had to be straightened out which we did uh, we ended up taking everything apart ourselves and then uh, the person that i know he helped us out tremendously with uh, straightening the frame and it was amazing it was very very worth it and uh yeah, super happy about the results and the car drives awesome. Uh, no issues whatsoever. I'm about to go on that side and show you some more. All right, so here is this side. So what ended up happening is this was really, really crunched up. So um, we ended up, uh, the person ended up cutting this whole thing and welding a new piece in place. Yeah, and uh, this area still needs a little bit of work and uh, you know, there's some spaghetti so all of that needs to be just tightened up a little uh, and uh, squared away uh, with like some nice electrical tape or wiring harness uh, insulation 
yeah other than that everything looks really really good here um yeah it's it's awesome this this car is a champ honestly um you know they don't make them like they used to and 